third part of our lower quarter screen will involve checking the myotomes. Again, with the myotomes, you're checking if there's any gross muscle weakness. If there is weakness, we want to assess if it's contractile, if it's a muscle. If it is, the patient most likely will have some discomfort with it. If it's myotome involvement, they may have weakness, but most likely no discomfort with resistance. So starting uh, looking at L1 and L2, we'll ask the patient for hip flexion. I'll check just one side, but of course you would check bilaterally. Have the patient hold that position, don't let me push you down, and then resist and check if she has discomfort or weakness, and that's L1, L2. Looking at L3, resisted knee extension, slight flexion in the knee, hold it right there, and I'm going to resist, check for strength. Going down to L4, ankle dorsiflexion resisted, hold right there, don't let me move it. Looking at L5, great toe dorsiflexion, hold right there, don't let, don't let me move you, good. Looking at S1, plantar flexion, resisted plantar flexion, hold right there. Also S1 is also ankle eversion, so I'll place her in an everted position, stabilize and resist. And then S2 is knee flexion, so hold right there, don't let, let me pull up. And again, if you have weakness, you want to ask if they have pain, if they have positive test with that, you want to reassess and see what level it is and other, what other muscles are innervated by that. Checking different levels, you can also, let's have you hop down for a second. Ah! She can, checking for uh, L4 and L5 at the same time, let's have you walk on your heels with your toes up. So we're checking uh, dorsiflexion of the foot at the same time, great toe dorsiflexion, and also S S1, checking for strength, you can walk on your toes. Just walking on the toes, very good, so she can do that. So that's more of a functional test looking at the different dermatome levels. Okay, you can have a seat up here, so that's the third part, looking at the myotomes, checking for resistance with that. With the dermatomes done earlier, if you get a positive test on the myotomes and the dermatomes, that might give you more evidence that there's neurological involvement. We'll look at the reflexes next.